In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Adio CRM. So I'll go over everything they offer and how you can use it. So first of all, what they offer, you can see here. So data structure and sources, reporting, automations, AI, and work and collaboration. Now, in order to get started, just go to adio.com and click on start for free. Then here you can just sign in with Google or enter your work email address. So after doing that, it says, let's get to know you and you will need to upload a profile picture then enter your first and last name and your email address should already be filled in. Then click on continue. And now here, create your workspace. So that's your company logo, company name, workspace handle, your billing country, and it will ask, how did you hear about us? So then you can sync your email and calendar to Adio. So by connecting your email and calendar, you will be able to instantly create profiles for your entire network. So you can just connect to your Google or Microsoft account and you can choose if you want the subject line and metadata or only metadata. Then it says help us customize your workspace. What will you be using Adio for? So for example, I will go with sales, but you can of course pick whichever one is best for you. And then please tell us more about your use case. So product led, outbound, SMB, sales led, or any of these other ones. I'll say sales led and click continue. Then you can go and invite your team members right here. So you can just enter their email and then choose if they are an admin or a member. So then it says welcome to Adio Pro and you can just start your trial. Now you don't need to enter any credit card details or anything like that. You now have started your free trial. So they have a bunch of sample data right here. So they have a bunch of companies. And if you just want to remove that, you can just click right there and then you can click more and then click delete records. And then all of them are gone. Now from here, you can then click new company. So this is a company that is a lead for your company. So first you can add their domain. Then you can set a name for them, a description, and you can set up a team so you can also create a new person so this is someone that you contact at that business so you can just set them up as well right there they can set a category right here and a primary location and then just click create record and then they will show up in your record so you can see under activity now and you can also see it right here and you then have them in your crm now, if you're already using a different CRM or you have a list of companies, then you can just click on import and then import CSV. So if you're using a different CRM, often you will be able to export as a CSV file and then just upload it right here. So now here under automations, you can go to workflows and then you can also create a workflow. So first you can select a trigger, for example, when a new company is created, so a record is created. And then you can add an action that then happens. So if you click plus, you can set a next step. For example, to enroll them in a sequence. And in a second, I'll show you those sequences. Or to create a task for one of your team members or any of this other stuff. For example, I will go with the sequence. And then when you click on it, you can select the sequence you want to enroll them in. Now, I haven't yet created one, but I'll show you in a second how that works. And then for the trigger here, you can also select an object. So a record is created in deals, people or companies, I'll say company. And then you can just click publish workflow once it's done, but this one isn't done yet. So for example, I'll just go to sequences first and then click new sequence. And a sequence is basically a series of emails that you can send automatically. So first the start is immediately after enrollment or for example, one business day. And then you can write the email right here. So what subject does it have and the email itself. Now you can also click add variable right here and then you can add name, for example, so first. And you could, for example, say hi. And then it says the first name automatically from the record that you have entered. And you can also use AI. So click add AI content and then you can write an icebreaker or whatever you want. So for example, write an ice breaker and then it will keep that in right there and it's just going to write that for every single email individually so then you can also add multiple steps and you can choose how long it waits in between each email 
but for this example i'll just keep it simple and only have the first one right here so then you can click publish sequence and click confirm and then it's published and you can also see who has gotten it so the recipients right here but now when i head over back into my workflow and now select the sequence i can now actually select that sequence as well so now i will also be able to publish this workflow and confirm it and now this one is also live and you will be able to see it runs right here so you can see the completed runs filled and basically you can see if it's actually working now there are more sections here so you have reports and here you can just go by your company now you also have your emails so you can just send emails through here so you can click new email and then choose who you're sending it to the subject or you can create a template if you have an email that you send often then in your notes you can just create notes for you and your team so you can click new note for example for this company and then you can just write this note now in my opinion edio crm really looks like notion so if you're already familiar with notion then you won't have much trouble with using edio since again they look very similar then in the task section you can create a new task and you can assign it to a specific person and you can add a record to it you can choose when it's due and basically you can write what the task is about and then just click save and then you have created a task for that person to do as well now your notifications you have a very convenient notification center where you can just see everything that's going on now from here in the bottom left you can also always invite more teammates as either members or admins and you have your first steps here. So many of this is already done, but you can also go and download their app, Chrome extension, and create your first entry. And in terms of their plans, you can see usually you'll have a 14 day free trial on the pro plan. And this is billed monthly 69 euros per month for two seats. But if you have more, then it's more expensive because this is the price per user. And it also depends on how many automation credits you want. So in the pro plan, you have 2,500 of them for free, but for additional credits, you will be charged extra. So then here you can always just enter your card details and click confirm and upgrade if you want to. Now, finally, in the deal section right here, you have your pipeline, which is pretty important. So here you can click new deal and then set a deal name a deal stage so for example this one could still be a lead then the owner so that's the deal owner not the company owner then the deal value and the associated people and then the associated company so now you can click create record and then they will be added here in your pipeline as a lead now you can also add any tasks to them and if they for example convert into in progress you can just switch them there or for example if you have a section called meeting booked and they can also just switch that one back there for example if you have the meeting booked you can just put them there and then you can have meeting conducted and then one or last so you can just build this out however you want you can also change the view right here for example by deal stage or you can create a new attribute and that is mainly what i would use but all of these other features are also very helpful so you can also set up some kind of an automation where for example if they go from delete to meeting booked then you automatically send them a confirmation email with a link to join the meeting or something like that now at the bottom you can also add calculations so you can create a sum for example of all the deals so in this case 10,000, and they can really easily see how much is in each of these stages so now you know how to use edio crm if this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel with that being said, I will see you in the next video.